The government has revealed it knew a group of Tamil refugees posed a security risk to Australia before sending them to the detention centre on Christmas Island. Four refugees from the Oceanic Viking and a fifth man from a previous boat have failed ASIO security checks and will not be given visas to Australia. The decision leaves the group stuck in an immigration no-man's land, waiting on Christmas Island until the government finds another country to take them in. From a month-long standoff on a ship to indefinite immigration limbo on Christmas Island. There are four persons who are on the Oceanic Viking who failed the security assessment. As a result, they're not eligible for permanent visas to Australia. The ASIO assessment concluded that the four Tamils, including one woman, could pose a security threat. The woman's husband has also failed the checks. He arrived on an earlier boat. They have two young children, and all seven will now be stuck on Christmas Island. If they don't pass the security clearance, they don't let, get let out of detention, they don't get a visa to Australia. The Tamil community in Australia has questioned ASIO's information, particularly if it came from the Sri Lankan government. It's the Sri Lankan government that these individuals are seeking asylum from. Any information given by the Sri Lankan government will only serve their own purpose and will not be an honest uh, report. The security agency handed over its reports while the asylum seekers were still on Indonesian soil. We thought, given the time frames agreed with the Indonesian government, that it was best that we uh, uh, take them to Christmas Island, detain them there and work on re resolving their cases in the longer term there. It's a problem of Kevin Rudd's own making, according to the opposition. He caved into people who had effectively been holding this vessel hostage uh, for uh, more than four weeks. Uh, it's his problem and he should deal with it. The Liberal backbencher who'd warned that terrorists could be on the boats says he's been vindicated. Christmas Island is now potentially Australia's Guantanamo Bay. The four Tamils who were on the Oceanic Viking had been declared genuine refugees by the United Nations. That means they can't be sent back to Sri Lanka. The government's now working with the UNHCR to find another country to take them in, but it admits that could take a very long time. Emma Griffiths, ABC News, Canberra.